All right, you guys, happy Wednesday. Here we are. Hope you're doing good. So my week is a little bit, you know, slow. Been helping a lot of folks. I'm still at seven sales, though. That's not horrible, okay? I'm not crying. It's good. You got to take care of people. You got to meet needs, but you got to do right by clients. I was with my family eating dinner. Client called. It's past seven. What do I do? I finish eating dinner with my family. That's what's most important, right? That's why we work. But when it's done, go take care of your client. If they've got some little question, if they butt dial you, that happened today. I had a client that butt dialed me. It was so funny. I called them back. Didn't leave a message. I just called them back. Call your consumers back. If they have intention that they're like, hey, they butt dialed you, don't let that go by the wayside. Call them back and say, hey, Mrs. Johnson, I saw you called me. Did you need anything? Can I do anything to help you? Oh, no, I butt dialed you. Thanks for calling me back. Cement that relationship. Let them know that you work for them. It's an important thing in the telespace. By doing right by the client, by going above and beyond what is expected of you, you will get results that are much higher than your competition. Take care of your clients. When they call you, return their calls quickly. Make them your priority. I was on a sales call. And a client called. As soon as I was done with that sales call, immediately, I did not hit another lead. I took care of that consumer. Take care of them. Meet their needs. Love on them. By actually like being concerned and truly meaning it to your consumer, that will show through. Take good care of them. It will take you a long ways in this career. In the telespace, you've got to put the time in. I've been spending a lot of time training the reps that work for me the agents across the nation, but I did not neglect working with my own pen. Where's my old pen? Hang on. I'll find it for you. All right, hang on. I went and grabbed the pen that I used today, okay? Nothing fancy, all right? But I used a different pen today. It was good stuff. Sometimes you gotta just lean hard on one pen and you may wear the ink out. Have fun doing what you do. Enjoy your space. You're with yourself. A lot of times you're taking care of you and the consumer when that consumer tees off and goes picks up hello right take care of them when that light pops immediately be engaged be engaged in what their needs are beware of smoke screens in the telemarketing space so many times you get people that will smoke screen you I had a lady today that I gave a presentation to and guess what she told me Oh, I'm in my car right now. I can't talk. And I hear, guess what? Beep, beep. I hear somebody lock their car doors. I'm like, are you kidding me? I called her bluff. I said, ma'am, um, you can't be driving if somebody just locked their car next to you. Oh, 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 well, I, I, I'm in my car. Okay, well, your engine's not making any noise. Um, no offense, but it, this will only take a couple minutes. Can I at least run some rates for you? Guess what? Smoke screen went... Okay? And now I was in a position to help her. So I started talking to her, running rates. Guess what? Was she in her car? Nope. She was outside smoking. Okay, Do I care if she was smoking? Heck no. I got smoker rates. I got non-smoker rates. We're going to take care of people. All right, It's fun. But know what a smoke screen is and know what a true objection is, you guys. And don't be afraid to call it out. Be professional. Be courteous to your consumer. But be okay to say, you know what? It's okay. Are you really in your car? Because I, I just heard a, a, a car being locked. All right. Can I just spend a couple minutes with you and at least give you a rate while I'm here? It'll only take a couple minutes. Give it to them. Take care of them. See through the smoke screen. So many people get smoked in this career. The smoke comes up and most agents go, oh, okay, I'm sorry. You're in your car. I'll call back later. They just sold you. They did. They ghosted you. You will never hear from that consumer ever again. That's it. Okay, know that when a consumer has a true objection, that is something you listen to. When it's a smoke screen, right? Smoke, work through it. It's nothing but a distraction. You have to see through it. Another gentleman, same thing. Oh, I've got to do this. Oh, I've got to do that. I've got no time right now. No problem. Take a couple minutes. Can I just share a couple things with you really quick? I've already got you on the phone already. Give me just a couple seconds, okay? So, Go right into it. 
go right into it, go right into it. What's the worst that happens? They hang up on you? They're going to do that anyway, right? You have the courage to listen to them, have the courage to have heart, and speak to them as you would speak to a friend, right? If your friend said, oh, I got to go, um, and you hear beep, beep, and they tell you that they're in their car, what are you going to say to your friend? Hey, I just heard you lock the thing. I just heard somebody bark their car. You can't be in your car right now. Can I just spend a couple minutes with you? Is that all right? Okay, ask permission, get consent, move forward. You guys, it's a fun game. It's a fun way to take care of people. Love people, serve people, do it with the best. Integrity, do it with the best that you are, and do it with the best training. If you need help, like, subscribe, share. Hope this brings some context and some value to you today. Go crush the rest of the week. Go love on people. Meet their needs. We've got two more solid days to get your quota up, but more importantly, meet the client's needs. And that will get you everything you ever want. By taking care of them first, your needs will be met second. Have a great week. Have an amazing day tomorrow. Take care of them.